Hello everyone, I am but a number comrade, I welcome you all to subscribe, queens, peens, and everything in between, so let's get into a way to kind of get into it. Um, ooh, just want to say though, before I start this video, feel free to donate to me on Cash App at Awkward Comrade, or support my fan service content on the Twitter, for freaky freaks out there. So, um, currently, I have, like, this just this year, I figured out my career path. And I know where I want to go. I want to do an, an androgynous brand. I have a, this entire year, I've just been gathering and getting down my ideas for it. But it's going to require a lot of money. So being that I'm a broke bitch and I'm, you know, don't really have support here, um, it would mean so much. It would mean so much. And that's difficult for me to ask as someone who's just not used to having people that I can ask for things from. It would just mean so much that if, if you can give however much you can give, five bucks, three bucks, whatever, through Cash App, it would mean so much to me. But I'm not going to beg and beg and beg completely all throughout the beginning of this video. Let's just get into it, okay? I want to let it be known that after Dracula Season 4, I will still be discussing the seat, just Dracula in general, Season 5 speculations, my thoughts on previous seasons, so stick around if you love all that Dragula jazz and content, because I am a Dragula super fan, and this, in my opinion, is my favorite drag show. This is the most organic feel that I get. Um, it, it doesn't feel too Hollywood, no shade to other, you know, to anyone else. It just feels so raw and authentic. The way the Boulets can feel so open about giving critique and, and showing these that these are humans. They're not perfect queens. They're not here just to look good. That's what I love so much about Dracula. It doesn't, nothing feels manufactured in terms of the interactions. Nothing feels like it was, like someone came in the room and said, hey, so let's talk about the fact that you and Jade aren't getting along. Everything feels so authentic. It's like I'm actually watching real people, if that sounds funny, but that's what it feels like every time I watch Dragula. It feels so organic. The way that everyone comes out with their stories, it, it, it's so organic, and I could get into that all day, but that's a video I'm writing for. Let's talk about this. Repetition and simplicity. I wanna know what you all think about this, about the idea that some of these artists will get into this competition and they will stick to one particular style. What are your thoughts on that? Do you think that is necessarily a bad thing that people like, um, let's say Dolly, who I believe is the strongest performer this season, as it pertains to season four, can come into a competition, but keep this kind of signature look that is like, oh, well, we've seen this, but everything else is different. Do you think that that is necessarily a bad thing in terms of, or, or like a, a, a flaw in terms of a drag contest. For me personally, I don't think so. I believe it is so crucial to have the signature look so that you aren't lost in your style, so that you can do, I believe that when you have your own particular style and you know it so well, it is, it is so much easier or so much more efficient to come and present something that is concise, polished, and clear. I relate with this so heavy because I do this in my art all the time. I have a particular style and people can recognize my work from a mile away because throughout the years I've stuck on specifically um, polishing that style and everything else that with it. I grab ideas from whatever fits within this style. And that style can be very expansive, but ultimately people know my work can be very um, Lovecraftian and very um, dark fantasy-esque. And there's so much within that. If someone gave me the idea to do an angel, I would likely just mold it to the dark fan. Like fucking, we, these aren't the angels that you get from, from Google art. These are the dark depictions that, the more creepy depictions that we would probably get in biblical scriptures like holy shit and i'm this would be a thing where you can't even process what you're saying or it seems 
hideous in, 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 at first glance because we as people cannot fathom these things. I don't like the idea that's just, oh, it's so beautiful. Oh my God. Yeah, I can't. Oh. Like, no. <laughs> so, um, yeah, a little bit of a tangent there. Um, but yeah, repetition as it pertains to the contest. Obviously, Dolly is the one. That's another video of why I personally have winning this contest. But, um, oh, I'm getting a call right now. I gotta speed this up. Um, but personally, I do not feel as though it is a hindrance. Um, Saint is another one where I feel like repetition, let's speed, let's switch it up. Repetition in a sense of you are sticking to a certain energy, in my opinion, is a flaw. Okay, that is a flaw. Um, we have visual, like facial recognition, then we have rec um, repetition in terms of you are sticking to this kind of low energy, very, oh, like, I feel like you have a body, girl. Use it. You have all this th these ideas at your command. Um, Disaster Arena, right, was a person who I felt followed in the trap of repetition. Um, she had so much going on that it, when it all came together, it it wasn't as um, well. I can't even say Disaster Arena. Disaster Arena is a whole different topic. I feel like Disaster Arena and Wholesale are very similar this week, but I feel like Wholesale is just. Just has more energy, you know. But um, I love Disaster Arena, by the way. Let let me let this be known. Let's not dunk on other artists to bring up other to bring up another. Okay, let's just not do that. But anywho, um, besides all that, um, I want to know what you all think about repetition because personally, I don't. This person's texting me like hell. I gotta get to this because personally, I don't feel like it's it's a it should be a hindrance for people like Dolly. I know a lot like a lot of the fandom is talking about this. Um, Sigourney, I feel like repetition can come in the form of her only serving glam. Um, for me, it, it's all about putting your best foot forward. It's about going above what your theme is. And I feel like this season, we've been getting repetition, but we've also been getting a lot of um, people not going above what their theme is. Um, for me, it's like, do you, do you, but do the do everything that you could possibly do within that idea and make it concise and clear. And that's not really what I'm getting in terms of like Sigourney. Um, I have Sigourney, this is not even a dunk on Sigourney, but um, for me personally, um, when it comes to repetition, I would say that when you are gonna only serve glam, when you're only going to do performances like Saint where it kind of limits your movement, that's when I feel like repetition backfires because I feel like what's happening is that these a lot of these artists, let's let's understand where the artists are coming from. A lot of them have this kind of set in stone thing about them where it, it it's like when you come to the competition, you're so um, set in, in your style and how you perform that when you get to the stage, it's almost like it's difficult for you to come out of that doing something completely different in a contest, if you know what I mean. So, um, it's like a huge risk, if you will. But, um, anyhow, I'm better not for comrade. I gotta get into this business call. I'm better not for comrade. I welcome you all to subscribe. Queens, queens, and everything in between. And I'll see you all in the next one. Good night.